Alrighty guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I think today we're gonna do... We still need to do Blue Baby, aren't as, uh, and defeat. Um, we, we, yeah, we're gonna do a Blue Baby run. Still gotta go to the Cathedral and defeat Isaac so that we can, uh, unlock the D6 on Isaac, which is an incredibly good item that will make playing Isaac a thousand times better. So, and then once we've done that, we can pretty much hold off on Blue Baby for a while. I know we've done like a lot of Blue Baby lately, but it is a thing that we need to do. Some of those unlocks are uh, pretty important for getting the, the character experience, so to speak. There we go. Let's see what we got. We do have, uh, there we go. That's a much better, more useful spacebar item than the poop, I must say. Uh, let's see. Secret room could potentially be here. And it is. And then I'm going to use a bomb. We pop into the cursed room over here. I'm going to use another bomb. Hoping one of those would give me a blue heart, but... <clears throat> A spirit heart, a soul heart. There are many names. You know, I, I, we did a, a co-op episode with my buddy Alexa a couple days ago, which was a ton of fun, by the way. Uh, but we got into a discussion over soul hearts versus spirit hearts. And I know that they are officially called soul hearts. But the thing is, there's another YouTuber who some of you may have heard of, if you're watching Isaac, whose name is Northern Lion. He's been playing Isaac for approximately a thousand years. And uh, I, I've been watching him for ages and ages and ages. Um, but honestly, like, I, I didn't find him through Isaac. I found Isaac through him. And he used to call them spirit hearts. And I have called them spirit hearts ever since. I can't believe that's not the second secret room. I'm actually shocked. Um, so yeah, that is, I blame Northern Lion. It's his fault that I called them spirit hearts. <laughs> It's a habit that I have developed and will probably never be able to break. So they're spirit hearts. <laughs> Even though I know the official name is something different. Uh, we're just going to do... I mean, I'll use the I'll use the bomb. I'll, I'll use Mr. Mega if I need to. Or whatever the name of this bomb item is. I forget. But this is pretty easy that's another thing too some of you are like you should use your spacebar items more and I, admittedly there are times when I do forget to use my spacebar item but also like a lot of it depends on the item uh, I'll take experimental treatment damage up rate of fire down speed down looks like we did get a little HP eh could be worse um, anything else I want to do here probably should check the shop at least since we can look at it for free. Yeah. Don't think I really want any of this. I think we're good. Um, I'll blow up the shopkeeper though and get five cents. Okay. Moving on. On to the next floor. Anyway, yeah. It, like, admittedly, sometimes I do forget to use spacebar items. But also, depending on the spacebar item, there's situations where I'm not using it because I'd rather save it for a time when I actually need it. Like, you know, Book of Shadows, for example. Like, I would much rather have Book of Shadows available to me in case I need it, rather than just using it every three rooms. And sometimes that means I only use it on, like, one room on the whole floor. But also sometimes it means that, like, it saves me from taking damage because there might only be one room on the whole floor where I would even take damage. You know, it all just depends. That's not a great item. Um, I guess we'll do this. We'll do this. We get a little money, which is kind of whatever. Um, hmm. That rate of fire increase hurts real bad, by the way. Or decrease, I should say. Experimental treatment, I think, did more harm than good. I don't know. It's hard to say. Our damage is, like, pretty okay. We really just need... Hmm, excuse me. 
I got a little bit of the hiccups. Uh, we just need a key or two or ten. Okay, we have a arcade over there. That could be potentially useful. Might be able to do something with that. I, yep, okay. Stop summoning little spiders. I can't kill them fast enough. Like, <laughs> like, please just die? <laughs> uh, some of these enemies. There's a key, finally. Okay, grab that. We'll check the arcade. What do we got? Um, not much. I mean, I suppose that blast is probably not going to reach far enough. But we'll do one of those. It gets me another key, so I can now get into the shop. Um, and if I clear this room and the boss... What's this? 48-hour energy. Even better. You can do that. Check the secret room and the uh, tinted rock at the same time. Um, where could this other secret room be? Maybe... Here? No? I think it pretty much has to be here. Nope. Okay then. Well, let's go peek at the shop. I mean, I suppose it could technically be between the shop and the item room, like right here. Which is a little weird, but eh. And again, there's nothing here I'm really interested in, so I'm just gonna move on. And we're going to skip our uh, deal with the devil to get deals with the angel, because I think they're way better for Blue Baby. Grab the battery, go fight the boss. Um, do we spend our bomb and our key to open that golden chest? I kind of feel like we do. Oh, we don't even need to. I already have access to it. Even better. And that was completely worth it, by the way. Oh, it's Plum! It's okay, so we are not going to kill little Plum here, or baby Plum, or whatever the name of this boss is. This is going to unlock a new item. We're just going to leave her be, and let her be her own beautiful self. Like, she's so adorable. Just look at those eyes. How can you not think that she looks cute? And then we're just going to leave her alone. And then she's like, okay. <laughs> and now we get the plum flute, which is a new item. <laughs> and we've unlocked that as well. So kind of a cool thing. And this item summons baby plum, which is pretty cool. And we're just going to go down to the next floor. I'm not even going to go into the deal with the devil. Um, I've, I haven't really used the plum flute. I, uh, I know that it summons baby plum and baby plum can is capable of dealing like a stupid amount of damage to bosses from what I've heard, but I haven't actually, like, done it myself. So, I guess we will science it together. I'm gonna need a key to get into the item room. That's the downside. Uh, let's do one of these. I mean, the good news is our damage output is, like, okay. Because we did get a, t a rate of fire increase, and we did get a damage upgrade, kind of, in the form of experimental treatment. Unfortunately, it also lowered our rate of fire, but, you know, it's fine. Um, this is... These guys are, like, a little bit scary sometimes. There we go. I was really hoping to get a key out of that. Which, unfortunately, for me, did not happen. We got some mini pins in this room. We'll take care of those guys easily enough. And we're basically just on a quest for a key. Um, okay. This we'll hold off on just for now. But we might blow the beggar up to get better deal chance. Or we could give him money to potentially get a key if we're like really desperate. Like, it's not a good, it's not an efficient way to get a key, you know, from a, from like a cost perspective. Because you could potentially give him 23 cents and not get a key at all. 
But like, if it really comes down to it and we can't get into our item room because there we haven't found a key on the entire floor, which is looking more and more likely at this point. Um, you know, it's something that you can try as like a last ditch effort. I wouldn't recommend it being your first option, but you know, if all else fails. All right, let's try out this plum flute here. Get him. I I mean, baby plum did some work, did about half. Did okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't refer to that as like melting bosses, but it wasn't bad damage. Um also, we're going to get a ball of bandages or a cube of meat out of this. Not exactly what I was hoping for, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Okay. Cube of meat. And unfortunately, no deal. So no point really now in blowing up the beggar. Although you can get, like, random consumables for that as well, I suppose. Um, we only have one single room left. Probably, anyway. What's over here? Yep, another room where probably not gonna get a key. Nope, not a single key on the whole entire floor. So the only way that we're gonna get into our item room in our shop is to get a key from the beggar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pay him. I will go down to 15 cents. Never mind. He just gave me. All right. Um, well, we could try to find a secret room. That's the other possibility. Uh, it can't be connected to a smaller than normal size room. So I think the most likely place for it to be is right here. Key? Nope. No key. OK, well. <laughs> um, potentially second secret room. Like, there are a couple of second secret room variants where you can get a key, but they're pretty few and far between. Hey, look at that. All right. So I think we spend it on the item room and not the shop. Uh, you could make an argument that in the shop you could potentially buy another key. But I think you're far more likely to take an item like this. Uh, Rosary is actually pretty okay. Increases your chances of uh, getting an angel deal, I believe. And also, I think it increases your chances of finding spirit hearts, but I might be wrong on that one. But either way, we're definitely going for angel deals. So I'm pretty okay with uh, having the Rosary beat. And now we are on to the next floor. Belly button is pretty whatever. Who cares? It's an okay item. Having two trinkets is sometimes useful, admittedly, but... Um, okay, so we got some uh, some slot machines over here. Those could be useful. Uh, that's another way we could get keys in a pinch if we really need to. Again, not exactly the most efficient way to do it, considering you could potentially pay all of your money and not get a key. But, again, as a last resort, if all else fails something you can try. There we go. Get rid of the little one over there. There we go. And then you, we can just cube of meat you to death. Uh, you might as well take tonsil. As a second trinket, you can hold two trinkets. I forget exactly what it does. I think it's like once you take a certain amount of damage, it spawns an item that's like a, a health upgrade or something. I don't remember. It spawns an item that was not particularly relevant in uh, Afterbirth Plus. Let's put it that way. I don't know if it's better now. Maybe it is. A lot of items that used to be really bad or mostly useless have gotten buffed, admittedly. There we go. 
Beautiful. I also, I'm loving the fact that we're getting keys here and we're not worried about... Uh, I actually like to go get that spirit heart if we can. We're not worried about if we're going to be able to get into the shop and item room. We will definitely be able to get into both, which is lovely. There we go. What do we got in the shop? Okay, I will absolutely buy more options. Gives us more items in our shop, or in our uh, item rooms, which is pretty good. I might be inclined to buy a key. Um, or uh, not a key, a bomb. But not yet. I want to see if we can get one for free first. We definitely need to keep our HP up pretty high. Careful. Oh, there's so many mini pins. There we go. All right, there is our item room. So we will now have our choice of two items. Dude, that was the worst. Just back to back. Bad damage. It's fine. Uh, okay, what do we got? Tiny Planet and Aquarius. Those are both bad, but Aquarius is better. <laughs> Aquarius is less bad. So, like, here's the situation, right? I know my spacebar item is full right now, but I also knew that the boss was coming up pretty soon, and I wanted to save it for the boss. So that's why I didn't use my spacebar item. Oh, yeah. Okay. L okay, so uh, if, if the enemy stays in one place, Baby Plum can absolutely wreck. That's fair. Crown of Light is an amazing item. And I'm super happy to have it. Uh, I don't have any bombs, though, to blow up the angel statue, so... Um, but yeah, Crown of is amazing. Basically doubles our damage. Uh, anything else we need to do on this floor? I think... Nah, you know what? I think we just go. I want to keep the... Well, no, there's no way we're making boss rush. We could potentially make hush, though. I want to keep that option open. That's another thing, too, that some people have mentioned. They're like, you should be more min maxi and go back and shoot all the fires and all the poops and all that kind of stuff. But, like, there's certain things in the game that are restricted via time, right? Like boss rush, hush, stuff like that. If you spend the time on every floor to shoot every single poop and every single fire, you will not make boss rush or hush. Like, it's not happening. I promise you, my friends, there is a method to all of my madness. Okay, so we got Egghead and uh, Fire Mind. I will take Egghead. I mean, Conehead. Same difference. Has a chance to occasionally negate damage. It's a pretty okay item. It's got, you know, some decent, uh, some decent usefulness. <laughs> Potentially, anyway. It can kind of save you in a pinch. Okay, there we go. I'm looking for my shop right now. And just a key in general. Now, the downside to Chronolite is that when you take damage, the effect goes away. But until that point, you're loving having the double damage. Oh, that's a uh, Tinted Rock right there. If I can get a bomb, we can blow that up as well. Careful of the mini pins. There's a key. All right. Not bad. Hey, careful. There we go. And there's a bomb. All right. So I will go back and blow up the tinted rock that was right here. Okay. And I'll grab this card too while I'm at it. It's a world card. Okay. That could be potentially useful on the next floor. And then I think we're just moving on. I don't quite have enough to buy anything in a shop right now, but it's close. Uh, we should have our boss coming up pretty soon, though. Like, within the next room or two. There we go. Hey, okay. Uh, we should check the shop now. We definitely have money. Uh, I will buy BFF. BFF plus Cuba meat's pretty good. And I'll check to see what this is. Two of spades. Basically two keys for three cents. It's a pretty good deal. Uh, and then we're moving on. 
I think like the next room basically has to be the boss, right? Yeah. Careful. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Okay. There we go. Go fight the boss. Is a war? War is going to not appreciate the cube of meat, but that's unfortunate. You know, it's unfortunate that it's war, because, like, I didn't need a second cube of meat. <laughs> so, this is kind of a... It's a weird run. You know, we've got some things that are really positive, and then we've got some stuff that's just like, this is awful. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna blow all these up. Take the consumables. Uh, I'll pop the world card here. And I think we basically beeline for item room, shop, and then just out. Uh, I mean, technically you could make boss rush. I don't think the run is good enough for boss rush, though. Like, it's just not a very... It's not that good. And our number one goal is not to defeat boss rush on this run. Our number one goal is to defeat Isaac on this run on the cathedral floor because that's what will unlock the D6 for us. That's a terrible room and I hate it. Uh, I will buy PhD for sure. Speed upgrade, not bad. We definitely needed that. How are we doing for time? Yeah, we're not making boss rush anyway. Like at this point, it's uh, we. I don't think we could kill mom in 23 seconds. Even if we were already there, and we're not. So we're not making boss rush. That's fine. We could still potentially make hush, though. And we might fight hush. We'll see. We'll see how the run looks at that time. Our HP's, again, kind of starting to look a little bit scary. Not terrible bad, but... Like, lower than I would like it to be, for sure. Alright. And our item room contains Explosivo and this thing. I forget what the name of this is. Uh, Explosivo's like, it's okay. I'll take it. Another world card's pretty nice, honestly. That was accidental. Um, I know our secret room is up here. So we're going to do this. And unfortunately, it's just a greed fight, which is not super helpful. Uh, 25 cents could be maybe useful though like we could potentially you know maybe we'll find something that requires money unfortunately this is the last floor with actual shops uh, unless we go to hush in which case you know great um all right let's just go summon baby plum that was terrible damage Could you please come down? Careful. Ah, uh, the little hand. I'm too slow. There we go. That was terrible. That was actually awful. What do we got in here? Holy light. This is an amazingly good item. This is like a 10 out of 10 item. Unfortunately, our damage is awful. Um, or not our, our damage, our uh, HP is unfortunately real bad. So we're gonna need some HP. Uh, we're down to one heart. We went from like eight hearts to one heart in the span of like three rooms. Not great. Uh, let's pop this. Um, okay, so if we can get... Ah, someday, someday we will make it to the cathedral as Blue Baby and defeat Isaac. But today is not that day. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.